If you love ginger, and this video is perfect for you. And if you want to know how to make a ginger essential oil, hydrosol, and by doing the hydro distillation. Hydro distillation is a little bit different with the steam distillation. Steam distillation we talk a lot. You have a herb on top of the water, so it's just a steam goes through the herb and do the extraction. Hydro distillation is mixing the water with herb together and boil together. For this case, the special factor is the ratio between the plant material and water. In this video, I will demonstrate you how to do the hydro distillation with ginger. When doing the hydro distillation, uh, the first thing you want to put a, a sieve plate at the bottom of the pot. If you don't have this one, you can use a bucket, but just don't put the legs on. Just put the whole bucket at the bottom without the legs. Make it flat. And this can help uh, protect the material, they don't fall onto the bottom and that can reduce the chance of uh, overcook. I purchased the ginger from uh, the local market. There are two different ginger. This is a large one. The body is uh, much larger than the other one is uh, smaller. They call the other one organic and this one is a regular ginger. I use this one, the fresh ginger. This one has more moisture than the other one, but also pretty uh, spicy. I already clean it, wash it, and then the next step, just uh, take off those black dots. Some of them, they uh, even take off the skin, but I don't think it's that important, but uh, you wanna still wanna do a, a cleaning. For this batch of the distillation, because I'm gonna also use the leftover of the ginger. That's why I do a actual cleaning. So actually this is a benefit of when we are doing a small batch distillation, we do it by ourselves because we use uh, for ourselves, for family, friends. So we do a actual uh, care. We put more love during the distillation. That will bring us back a higher quality products than you will purchase on the market. When we are doing the hydro distillation, we want to have a good ratio between the plant material, the ginger today, with water. So that's why you want to measure it. It's 1.2 kilogram, 1.2 kilogram. Um, today's ratio I'm going to use is 1 to 5. So for 1.2 kilogram of a ginger, I gotta use a, a six liter of the water mixed with the ginger. The next step is uh, slice the ginger and then chop it with uh, my, uh, you know, I use a chopper. You can use a blender. Uh, the goal is cut into a small pieces, but don't make it into a soup. So just uh, make it smaller by using a chopper or blender. At uh, you know, if you use a strong blender, do it quick. Stop it in a short time. Uh, again, so we uh, do a very carefully cleaning, um, just like a preparing a food. So you know, when you spend more time on your food, normally you will get a better quality of the dish. 
you know, you cook, you have a more happy、uh, customers. Now the distiller is ready. Have the ginger mixed with water. Again today we're using the circulation cooling. Before turn on the heat, remember test the circulation, make sure is、uh, stable. So when you set up the circulation cooling, the cooling water go in from the side of the condenser and go back out to the bucket from the top, and this is your product. That's your distillate, including essential oil and hydrosol, will come out from here. Now I'm gonna separate the oil from、uh, hydrosol. Distillation is done, but extraction is not over yet. So I'm gonna open this and show you the ginger because we are doing the hydro distillation. So there will be soup left over in the pot, and we're gonna use the soup. I added six liter of the water before the distillation. As I show you, I collect the two liter of the hydrosol. So here still have a four liter. The soup contains the unique chemical called gingerol. Gingerol brings the spice flavor of the ginger. It is very good water soluble. That's why you can make a ginger tea. And for this soup, I gotta separate them with、uh, the press, the lead time press. So this soup can be used for your the, you know the the hair rinse, the foot wash, or you can freeze them into the ice cubes, and add into the drink as a flavor. If you are good at fermenting, you can use this to make your ginger beer. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you know how to do the hydro distillation. There are a few key points. First one: prepare your plant material. Get ready for the distillation. The second one: have a perfect ratio, the good ratio between the plant and the water, and mix them together. And the last one: don't forget the 
oil and hydrosol separator if you expect to separate your oil from the hydrosol. Please help me like the video, share the video, and subscribe the channel. This is Dr. Liu at Lead Time. See you next time.